What's up everyone? Coral Fish here and thank you for joining me again. I have a good amount of my pieces right over here. This is not the full collection, but I went ahead and cleaned a bunch of my glass today. I thought, you know, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, might be a good day to get some spring cleaning done. I'm going to pack up a bowl of some Fire OG Kush and tell you a couple of tips and tricks that I have found really helpful when I'm cleaning my glass to try and get you all inspired to do a little spring cleaning yourself because it can get really hard to get the motivation to just get your stuff clean, you know what I mean? I was using Formula 420 earlier, giving it a shot after a couple of years of just avoiding any products really for cleaning and only sticking to alcohol. And I noticed that the Formula 420 worked fairly well, but for the price, it's not that much different. It was $10 for one little bottle, where I got this gallon over here of isopropanol alcohol for like $18. Yeah, it's just a way better deal. So I know a lot of people recommend Grunge Off and Gle Green Glass Clean, I think that product is called, Formula 420, a bunch of different stuff, but I just have found the best luck sticking to different alcohols and salts. So I'll show you a little bit more of that in a second, but first things first, I have a few clean bongs to choose from and one good bowl to pack. You might have noticed that the Hello Kitty bong is not actually as clean as these other pieces. I don't know what the problem is, but Hello Kitty, I have just not been able to get sparkling clean in years. So she just has a residue on her. Well, not years. What? Well, yeah, I guess I've had the bong almost two years now, which is just kind of insane. And this bowl, I was not able to get that chunk of resin out. You can see that chunk right there. I spent a long time trying, but, you know, sometimes you're just going to have to take what you can get and celebrate anyway, because this is as clean as she's been in years. Years. And that down stem is still stuck in this bong, so I had to clean it all as one piece. I'm going to go ahead and hit this clean Hello Kitty bong and then maybe move on to a different piece as I tell you all really how I clean it. Ooh, here's that Fire OG, looking beautiful, ground up and ready. Okay, I know I'm going to end up taking a couple of dabs and smoking some big bowls, so I packed just a little modest size bowl for right now. Got my hemp wick ready. And cheers, everyone. Happy spring cleaning. And happy spring. This year is flying by. It's going to be 420 before you know it. Wow, you can taste right away. It's so much nicer. It's just cooler, cleaner, much less of a nasty burnt taste that I have associated now with smoking flowers as opposed to concentrates. Yum, but let's move on to another piece and set that one aside. This glass piece I do clean probably more often than a lot of the other ones, and that's because I'm using it more often for sure. I know a lot of people have really strong opinions about the glass company Pure. This bong, I think a lot of you also know, was sent to me as a gift by Sub LBC as a part of UGC Underground or UCG Underground. Um, and so I love it, of course. It was a gift from a friend. I'm not going to say that's a crappy company or I don't like that company, so I'm not going to use it. I happily use it. But it gets really, really dirty. This donut piece collects oil so quickly. It's just sticky and turns brown really, really quickly. This in here, the ash catcher, will develop like a marble of reclaim wax just sitting in there. And some people do smoke the reclaim. And as my friend Street Kush 420 recently said on Twitter, there ain't no shame in smoking reclaim at all. But I just really haven't had the opportunity to. I always pour mine out and just let it slide down the drain when I'm cleaning. Don't save it at all. She's looking beautiful, so let's go ahead and take a dab. With cleaning the concentrate pieces, I found the alcohol and salt to work much better than the Formula 420. Just more effective on getting that oil residue to just come right off right away. Not a lot of smell with this. And there's actually, I don't know if you can see it, but there are some black dots in this wax, which I don't really like because, you know, 
what is it? It's probably not cannabis. It's probably like a fleck of something, like a fiber or something in the process. So it's not exactly the best wax I've ever had. But I am happy to be dabbing, of course. Here we got one loaded up. I could never switch to just 100% all dabs. It has to be like dabs and flowers, you know? A little hit from the Hello Kitty bong, a little dab from this Pure bong, and then I'll show you a little bit more of what I have going on over here. Maybe I should pull this away from that alcohol. And cheers with a nice clean dome hit. Tasty. The next giveaway that I'm going to do is probably going to be the Kanga can, which is a Keef extractor. It's made for the stevia plant, and I'll have the link down below with a little bit more information about that extractor. There are pictures of it on my Facebook page, so you can go to facebook.com slash coralreefer420, and definitely on coralreefer420.com slash giveaways as well. You can click a link to see all the goodies that I have stored up waiting to give away. I just need to plan the right giveaway because that extractor needs to go to someone that kind of deals with some weight and has enough cannabis to really want to, you know, process it in that way. So I need to find maybe it's going to be like a video contest of show me your garden type thing. I'm not exactly sure how many gardeners I have participating in these contests. So if you are a gardener and you want to win this extraction kit, let me know in a comment down below if that's something you're interested in, and it's definitely on the way. But let's get back to spring cleaning for now. I was really impressed with Formula 420 and the way it worked on this piece in particular. This is a really cute Hello Kitty pipe that came from Doobie Dudette, as she is known on Twitter. Or maybe it's Dabby Dudette these days. But she is a lovely lady that I stayed with when I went down to the LA Cannabis Cup. And I've stayed with her a few times. She sent this to me sometime last year. Maybe even on 420 last year. I think so. So I've had this for almost a year. Super cute. And it looks brand new. Except for a little bit of black speck inside the bowl. And a little bit down there. So not perfect, but really, really impressed with the way the colors turned out on that one. And this pipe is known as Peep Show, and she has not looked this good in so long. This was with alcohol and salt. There's a little bit of resin still left at the very bottom of the pipe. I'm not sure if you can see the chunk right there, but I did the best I could. Some is also left in the bowl still. But I use pipe cleaners and paper towels whenever I'm cleaning my glass. This is Randy's brand, but as long as you're getting the kind for cleaning and not, like, decoration or crafts, you're good. And then I use the ice cream salt and the 91% or 99% if you can find it, isopropyl alcohol. Here is the really coarse ice cream salt. It's really thick, so it provides good friction inside the pipe or inside your bong. And you just add that with the alcohol, give it some good shake or soak, good combination of that method. And your pieces will come out looking so beautiful. This blue glass is just gorgeous. This is the 91% alcohol that I was able to find at Walgreens. It has always worked, but it never gets my pieces super sparkly. And I was really impressed with this 99% isopropyl alcohol which the number one ingredient is 99% isopropyl alcohol. So I think it's about the same thing, and it worked really, really well. This just instantly was getting all of the oil and resin off of the pieces. Highly recommend this. I found the gallon container of the isopropyl alcohol at the Patient ID Center in Oakland. It was my first time there, and I was really impressed by their huge quantity of alcohol. But they didn't have any other stuff other than Formula 420. They said they sometimes carry grunge off, but they didn't have it at the time. And I had wanted to do like a variety of methods to show you, but I ended up just with the good classic gallon of alcohol and the Formula 420 just to give it another shot. But for the price, $10 at some other local head shop, not at the ID Center, but at this other local head shop, $10 for a bottle like this big, it just really didn't seem worth it to me. 
This piece also looking super, super cute and clean. It's the Left Coast Bong that was given to me down in LA for the Cannabis Cup. Super nice people, the Left Coast Scientific. I really like this bong. You saw me use it for the 420 hit when I was out in the park. And people have been asking what this nail is, and it's a quartz nail. I didn't really know if I would like it because I'm so used to the titanium one, but I've actually come to love it. It's got a really smooth hit, and you just torch the bottom of it so it holds the heat, and it works really well. It looks so good, all clean, but I definitely need to take a dab off of it because I'm breaking all these pieces in. Cleaning them was such hard work that it's only fair I get to take a hit off of each one of them now that they're clean. You know what I mean? It's like reaping the rewards of the hard work. Here is that dab loaded and ready. I like that it sounds like a little like tug 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 like a little motorbike kind of. Yeah, like a little motorbike is what I think of. Well, I'm sure people are going to have a lot of comments about which glass cleaner is their favorite and which one works the best. The bottom line is I was really interested in what's most available to all of you. And not everyone has a smoke shop or a head shop or anything that sells like 420 or Formula 420 or grunge off. People don't always have that stuff nearby. And ordering online can sometimes be scary and there's just other complications. So this stuff, the alcohol and salt, can be bought in most drug stores or like, you know, grocery stores. I think Walmart probably, although you probably shouldn't shop at Walmart. I just know a lot of people have access to it. It's just really, really easy to find and I think cleaning your glass is pretty important. I'm not very good at it and I don't do it often enough at all. As you can see, there's already like flecks of stuff down on here from the oil down there. So, you know, it's something you have to keep up with. But it's much better to hit clean glass than something that's just like soaked and soaked in resin, whole bunch of residue. That's not good for your lungs. You're going to cough a lot more. I cough a lot as it is. I just edit it out of these videos to not waste your time. And so if I can manage to keep my glass a little bit cleaner, it's going to probably make an improvement on how often I'm coughing. The first piece I chose to kick off my Spring Clean Your Glass collection was this bowl piece. And it turned out so sparkling clean. This bowl piece was sent to me by Boo Tubes, who make really cool bamboo bongs. I'm sorry I didn't grab it to have it within reach right now, but my bamboo bong didn't need cleaning, so I just didn't pull it out. But this bowl piece definitely did, and Boo Tubes are awesome for sending this up, so thank you guys. I love it. I love the bong. should use it a little more often, but there's something about clear glass that I've just become accustomed to. I forgot this bowl piece was even this color because after smoking in it so often, it turned blue and dark and just completely different. So I'm really happy to see this piece, like a nice warm yellow color, and back again. And also the Fresh Burrow Bong, also known as the Sweater Bong, has transformed into a beautiful clean glass beaker instead of that gross down stem and beaker that it had been for the last couple of months. Hadn't cleaned it very well. And also this was the sweater bong, but now that we're doing the spring cleaning the glass, the fresh burl bong had to lose the sweater because it's springtime. So I am now looking for outfits for the fresh burl bong that is springtime. Maybe like a little bikini would be kind of cute. A little bit ridiculous. I totally understand that. But at a certain point, why the fuck not? Okay, let's hit this and get on out of here. Ooh, the last thing I wanted to mention as a little tip. I picked these up a few years ago and I've been using them ever since. Wine stoppers, whenever you're cleaning your glass. Wine stoppers are generally about the length. Da -da -da -da, I mean, about the width. As that. So then you can shake everything and it's not, I think this is 18 millimeter that I would have. Um, and that's just what I use when I'm doing like a big soak or something so you can get above that level. 
I would always recommend keeping these away from any wine stoppers that you would actually use for your wine because this also is soaking in alcohol and just getting kind of gross and it's not meant to be used with alcohol and for that purpose with that type of alcohol for that purpose so yeah that's pretty much it it's pretty easy it's just a little bit time consuming to actually keep your glass clean but now that it's springtime how about we all commit to doing it do a nice little spring cleaning your glass collection I've got my pieces here sparkling and shining in the spring light Thank you all for joining me for another episode. If you ever want to watch more of my videos, you can check out the links just up above or head to CoralReefer420.com for different galleries, a whole bunch of pictures, gifts, random things. I have worked pretty hard on CoralReefer420.com, so it means a lot to me when I see you guys go to it. Thank you very, very much. Cheers, everyone. Got that green bowl packed. Oh, my gosh. I have to say, cleaning is really dangerous, so knock on wood when you do it. And have a really good weekend, everyone. Stony Sunday will be coming soon. Stay high, everyone.